Hello Wastelanders, Vlad here, and today I'm going to show you how to build integrated recessed shelving into your Fallout 76 camp, like the one you see behind me. So let's jump on in! Start things off, build yourself this little L shape. It's four foundations wide and it has one little foundation going up. And what you want with the placement of the foundations is the ability to place them higher and the ability to place them lower than the way you originally placed them in the ground. Now we're going to start by putting some double walls on the far end of our L shape. And you'll notice that I'm using different colored foundations and that's because we're going to kind of do some different things with the foundations and I want you to be able to see the differences. So build yourself these double walls and then place a single half wall. Now it is important that you use the barn wall set for doing this. I think you can also use the contemporary wall set, but the barn set is free and in the game. Uh, so once you've built those double sided walls and the single half wall on top, destroy everything with the flamethrower. And now we're gonna place a second half wall to make double sided half walls at the top. So right now we have two sets of double sided walls and we're going to destroy them all and you have it at one and a half building uh, height for the walls. Now what we want to do is offset this secondary set of foundations, the one that I use with the uh, plants on them. And we're going to do that by using the stairs. We're going to place some stairs going over a half upper floor and then some stairs going down and then place a new foundation down at the bottom and then we are going to adjust our foundation to snap to that new placement and what we've effectively done is offset this foundation and you can see now that they line up in the center of our original set and that's going to allow us to come in and remove these foundations from underneath um, place some foundations going under our destroyed walls and we're going to get a snap point that is in the middle of them um, from doing this. And what you want to do once that is set is build three half walls going all the way up to match the height of the original walls and then destroy them with your flamethrower. And then go ahead and build the other half so that you end up technically with a double sided wall here in the center made up of these three half wall panels and then once that secondary set is in place you're going to flamethrower it again. There's going to be a lot of flamethrowing in this so just make sure you have an appetite for destruction and a lot of wood to repair when you start this build. Now uh, once those center walls are placed we're going to remove those foundations. I'm going to set one over here off to the side so it's out of the way just in case for some reason we need to place it back down uh, but you shouldn't need to unless you mess up and you need to restart somewhere. So once you do that let's go ahead and place some foundations going back to the original height. It should look something like this once you have it and what I then want you to do is place an extra foundation coming off of one of these and then remove the one that's attached to our center one with the walls. And what we want to do is lower this one and be careful not to move it forward or backwards. We're just making it go lower. And I go about the height of the skirting of the foundation or half of the skirting. And um, really what we're doing here is we're going to place a wall that's going to be kind of the little panel that makes up the bottom part of our shelving. And uh, lower all of the foundations that go underneath the original sets of walls and we're going to place a half wall panel down there on both sides and then of course we're going to destroy that and once those are destroyed you can then take our floors and bring them back up to the original build height okay and then we're going to remove this one again that we did the first time and this time instead of lowering it we're going to raise it. Now this these two steps effectively make the height of the cubby hole that's going to be your integrated uh, shelving. So keep that in mind the distance between this uh, original wall that we placed down there and the one that we're about to place really set up 
your height. Now, also, I couldn't build bring that foundation that's underneath these broken walls up because it would say it collided. So I went around when I was raising up the foundations this time. But once you have the foundations at the new higher height, place yourself two half walls on either side. And then you're going to destroy those just like we did the others, but this is what it looks like before destruction. Okay, now that that's destroyed, we want to remove the bottom wall by uh, telling it we would like to scrap it. So make sure you're selecting the bottom destroyed wall. That's why I'm taking very careful time to make sure I have the right thing selected or else I'm gonna end up with a result I don't want. Now we're gonna lower these foundations back to their original build height. And now we're getting towards the area where we actually get to utilize our shelves, but uh, we need stuff for things to sit on. So we're going to repair this bottom half panel and then this upper half panel. We just got done placing these and destroying them. And we're only going to do this on one side, and we're going to do that so we can snap some roofs in the middle of our double-sided uh, platform walls here. And uh, it may take a little finagling to get it to decide it would like to put it, but put one going on the inside of our destroyed walls. Okay, and these are going to make the platforms for setting stuff on for our shelving. And now we can remove those outside roofs, and we end up with something that looks like this. And then, of course, we're going to destroy both of those wall panels. And I want to place some uh, power underneath here. So I'm going to place a generator and a conduit, and then I'm going to make sure I wire that up before I then repair this lower half wall. Okay, now we can see where uh, our shelving is coming into place. So I'm going to repair the center walls and leave this upper panel broken because it's a lot easier to place lighting and things like that with it broken. Now I'm using these shelves and then these uh, lockers to create a false wall so that these shelves aren't as deep. And if you like the original deep width, then you can just not do this step. Uh, but once you, if you want to use the false walls, then go ahead and build it out of something like stash boxes and stuff like that. And then build yourself some lighting, go ahead and decorate the shelves as you want. And I'm leaving that upper panel completely broken while I'm doing the decorating because it makes it easier to get things to sit in there. Now don't forget to decorate your upper platform. And when you're ready to put in the very top roof, go ahead and destroy the center two panels. Repair the outside edge two upper walls. And then you should be able to snap in a roof without a problem as long as you haven't built the stuff on the upper shelf too high. Uh, if you'd have, then you may need to snap in like a angled roof and then edit it down. But here's some examples I put together, some Vault Boy themed ones, a Helvetia one. And then uh, I have some that I built in my camp that are very much more elaborate. And you can also use the different types of roof panels to different effect. Here's the one I built uh, from the intro where I have some Brotherhood of Steel and some Nuka-Cola themed stuff. That's the video, everybody. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the latest content from Vladministrator Gaming. Until next time, I'll see you in the wasteland.